Hello, Hopton High School, and welcome to a brand new episode of HHS Today. I'm your host, Quinn O'Connor. This week, we have a new segment created by the Green Cohort. Being in the Orange Cohort, I don't get to see them at work. So let's see what they got. First up, Maddie took the camera down to senior night for the girls' field hockey. Let's roll it. Hey, all seniors. Hey, y'all. You. This is being... Hi, everyone. Today, I'm here with two seniors from the Hopkinton girls' field hockey team. Hi, I'm Rachel Nordlane. I'm a senior, and I play forward in midfield. Hi, I'm Bonnie, and I also play forward in midfield. What is your favorite memory from being on the team? Um, my favorite memory from being on the team is probably all the spaggers, specifically the cane spagger. Uh, it's just a really good team bonding time. My favorite memory was probably last year's Cape Chip or the sleepover last year. Um, how was senior night, and did you guys win? Yes, we won three to one, and it was super fun. The intensity was up the whole time, and it was just a really good time. Yeah, it was really fun to win on our senior night, and we played Ashland, and it was a lot of fun. What are you guys going to miss most when you leave next year? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss the team the most, and Becky. Shout out, Becky. <laughs> I'm going to miss you so much. Yeah, I'm definitely going to miss the team a lot and the spaggers after school and all the team bonding that we do. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Nice job, Maddie. And her notes say she really enjoyed filming and editing that segment. I think she asked some meaningful questions to the two interviewees. I like it. Coming up next, we have Ryan's segment. What's in your lunchbox? I'm here with Derek Rowe, and he's going to show us what's in his lunch bag. Uh, I have a ham and cheese sandwich. What else? Oh, I also have a Gatorade and uh, some Mott's fruit snacks. All right, let's see. I got a, an apple. I got uh, some goldfish, uh, Little Bites muffins. I got chips and uh, some Welch's. I got some chips and a sandwich and some uh, Oreos. Clementine, and then a uh, water. So today I'm packing um, colorful uh, goldfish, Cheez Its, and a Nature Valley bar. Um, so we got some Oreos to start off. We got a chocolate milk and a Reese's peanut butter pumpkin. That's so good eats. Awesome concept, Ryan. Everyone loves to talk about food. Some of those people needed some more protein but no judging. Here comes a classic segment, question of the day. We, we love to hear what our HHS community is thinking. Today, Annabelle is asking, what do you like to do in the snow? Remember that crazy storm? Playing with my dog. Throw snowballs at people. Sledding. <laughs> the favorite thing that I like to do in the snow is skiing. Build snowmen. I like to sled. Going skiing. I hate the snow. Make snowmen. Sledding. Shovel a path for my dog. Building a snowman. Skiing. Sledding. Annabelle wrote that it was really fun to film and, and edit this segment. And it would be really fun to do it again. Great job on that. Coming up next, Marissa talks about the pros and cons of TikTok. Four years ago, an app called Musical.ly was added to the app stores. Soon it would turn into TikTok and take over the world. I'm sure we all know what TikTok is, but in case you don't, TikTok is a Chinese video sharing social networking service that allows people to express themselves through dance, comedy, lip sync, and short music videos. I have TikTok, and when I see the app is addictive, it really is addictive. I find myself up until 2 to 4 in the morning on TikTok. Some pros to TikTok are you can meet new people, there's endless amount of content, you can inspire and empower people, and there's hundreds of songs and hashtags and filters to use. Some cons to TikTok are, some viral challenges can be dangerous. TikTok recommends videos to you on your For You page that may be a little inappropriate. TikTok can contribute to harmful popularity. It can harm your mental health, and it can be used as a harassment tool. Overall, TikTok can be very addictive and very time consuming, but there are so many benefits to it as well. You just need to be careful and responsible when using it. Social networks have more power to persuade us than we think. Always consider what you're watching and be careful of overdoing it. If you're, worry, if you're worried about your social media usage, talk to someone. Thank you for sharing this, Marissa. Next up, boy, there are a lot of segments. We're talking fashion with Alyssa. There are so many different trends that teens are wearing today. 
To start, here are a few trends that I find to be really popular at HHS. Trend number one is flannels over hoodies. They keep you warm, they're very stylish, and they look good on anyone. Trend number two is sweatpants, pulled back hair, and glasses. It's more of a lazy look, it's really cute, and people just love it. And lastly, trend number three is white sneakers. They're very comfortable, they're quality shoes, multiple types, and then again, anyone can wear them. Now remember, those are just a few trends of many. Email us a picture of a trend that you wear and at hhstv.org, and we'll be picking a few winners to get some cool HCAM merchandise. Very nice. This is your chance to get some cool HCAM swag. So tell us what fashions you're into. But first, it's time for coronavirus safety tips with Josh. As you all may know, coronavirus has deeply impacted the lives of millions of people across the world. So here's what you can do to stay safe. It's important to make sure that you observe the rules of the hallway and walk with them accordingly. Just make sure that when you're walking, you're always on the right side of the hallway. As you can see, it's very important to stay six feet apart. Hey, you need to back up. This is unacceptable. Make sure your mask is always above your nose. It's important to be careful when eating in enclosed places because you won't have a mask on, as you can see. This has been Coronavirus Safety Tips. My name is Josh Carino, and stay safe out there. I like it, Josh. I know we all know these by now, but sometimes we get a little lax. So these reminders are important. Our last segment today is called Sports Around the World, and it is produced by Joe. Good morning, HHS Today. I'm your host, Joseph Scardino, here to bring you Sports Around the World. This Tuesday, the Dodgers and the Rays battled it out in a six-game series that was hard fought from both sides. The Dodgers beat the Rays 3-1 in Game 6, sealing the game and the championship. After Week 7 of the NFL, the big dogs of the league are really starting to show, with the 6-1 Chiefs having a huge offense of Patrick Mahomes, Tyree Kill, and Travis Kelsey. Just behind them, with the only undefeated record in the league, is the 6-0 Steelers, with the dynamic duo Chase Claypool and Juju Smith-Schuster really showing their game. In third, with the greatest of all-time quarterback, Tom Brady, is the Tampa Bay Bucks, my favorite bandwagon team, sitting at a good 5-2 and two record. Just a couple days ago, legendary receiver Antonio Brown signed with the Bucks to a one-year deal, adding more great players onto their large offense, consisting of Tom Brady, Leonard Fournette, Antonio Brown, Rob Gronkowski, and Mike Evans. This addition to the offense, combined with the insane defense, leads me to believe that the Bucks will go all the way. Now, back to you. Good work, Joe. I love the green screen and the floating desk. Well, that's all we got, folks. The HHS TV green cohort has done a fine job, and stay tuned until next week to see what Orange can do. Until then, check out everything HHS TV at our website, hhs.today, where you can view past shows and tell us how we're doing and what we should feature here by emailing hhstv at hillers.org. See you guys next time.